Hello everyone, thanks for joining us today. SIUK Thailand is live with St. Andrews College, Cambridge. Over to you, Vicky. Hello everyone. So uh, I'm Vicky from St. Andrews College, Cambridge. Thank you so much for taking your time to join our event today. I'll be presenting St. Andrews College, Cambridge together with my colleague, Haranta. So um, I'll start with a basic introduction about St. Andrews College. Um, the school is located in the center of Cambridge. As you can see, we are very close to the beautiful landmark of King's College and, uh, Saint, and uh, Cambridge University. So this is our school name, St. Andrews College, Cambridge, and our logo. Um, so the school is located in the center of Cambridge. We offer GCSE, pre-A-level, A-level, university and foundation courses. And uh, we have plenty of fantastic students coming from Thailand in the past, and we are willing to offer a very good scholarship to the uh, outstanding students. And currently we still have spaces for this September intake. So if any students who are looking for a level or foundation course at a prestigious uni uh, college in Cambridge, uh, St. Andrews will be your ideal choice. I'm going to hand over to my colleague, Harry Anta. Uh, she is the director of the Duke's uh, admission and marketing team. So um, she will be presenting a little bit of St. Andrews and also a little bit of other, of our other sister schools. Brilliant. Good morning, everybody. And um, welcome to you in Thailand from here in the UK, which is very rainy. Um, as Vicky said quite rightly, St Andrews is an absolutely fantastic choice for you. It's been going for many years and it has great heritage in the fact that it is very much right in the heart of an absolutely stunning and very intellectual city of Cambridge. And what's really lucky about St Andrews and what you will be doing if you're a student there is that you will be able to also have access to some of the amazing university lectures that go on within Cambridge. So you can, if you're trying to study something like business, for instance, you'll be able to go and attend some of the business lectures if you're studying medicine, some of the medicine lectures. So you'll get that input again from those really, really good high academics. And as Vicky was saying, the lovely thing again is that for anyone who's kind of 15 years and above, we can do some really good packages for you. So you can come and do something like a pre-A-level course, for instance, where we can help really, really improve your English. And, you know, you can do kind of you know, your, your key subjects and uh, as well alongside to really, really prepare you in, in able to actually study A-level at a very, very high rate. And what does that mean, of course? Well, it means that your choices when you go forward to one of the top universities are just even better. Because the very key thing about going on to a UK university is the grades that you get in your A-levels. And so really the top universities generally, what is known as the Russell Group, which is the top 24 universities in the UK, they're generally looking for two A's and a B um, for you to kind of get a place there. And my daughter actually, interestingly, just got a place there last September in Manchester um, and, and went off to kind of to study there this year. So, um, so I've got kind of personal experience of that very, very recently. Um, it's, it's also really, really important, I think, for you that you know, St Andrews is not very far from the major airports. And in our COVID times that we're, we're, we're kind of suffering from at the moment, we will come and pick you up from the airport. We will bring you back to the college. You can quarantine within the boarding houses. And the boarding houses, again, are absolutely lovely. They're real family style boarding houses where you live with kind of a mixture of between kind of nine and about 16 or even more sometimes students together. You can live and work together. You've got your lovely own bedrooms. You've got kind of a lot of them are en suite if you would like an en suite bedroom. And you're looked after by a family style house parent. And again, it feels really like a family home. And they're easily located within walking distance from the college. Everything in Cambridge is completely flat. So people walk and cycle, and I'm sure you've seen pictures of people on bicycles in Cambridge, you know, wherever you go. So it's kind of very much a student-centered town. You could also come and do something like a foundation course, for instance. Now, these are a really cost-effective, good way to get into Russell Group Universities. Um, and as Vicky will probably talk to you about a bit more, St Andrews has incredible results. I think it's 78%, Vicky, you can correct me if I'm wrong, of students who go on to a Russell group having done the St Andrews Foundation. And again, the really, really important thing about that is that sometimes for a Thai student to go and do a, you know, a, a foundation... Uh, 
um, it's very difficult for them to actually kind of assimilate um, and, and they feel kind of very, very isolated sometimes in a university setting. What St Andrews does is it runs the foundation, but within a boarding school setting. So you have teachers to talk to, people to come and mentor you. For instance, you have house parents to look after you. So it's a much, much better integration as a Thai student going to the UK. And then you, you'll be given lots of mentoring, help with your UCAS support, all ready to take you into your university of choice. And the staff are fantastic. And I'm sure Vicky will talk to you more about them, but they are highly, highly trained. Many of them are Oxbridge graduates themselves. You know, so you'll have really top quality staff. And that's one of the lovely things about being in Cambridge. The staff are phenomenal. So I'm going to hand you back over to Vicky to talk to you a little bit more. Uh Okay, so for St. Andrews College, Cambridge, um, like her aunt mentioned, we are located in the center of Cambridge. So when the students arrived, you will have a St. Andrews student ID card. With this ID card, you can access Cambridge Library. You can study and borrow books and borrow books from the library for free, the same as Cambridge University students. And also you can access the Olympic standard swimming pool and also the best facility and a KK sports center. You can go to Cambridge University, different colleges to attend public lectures lectures. So just spare that in mind. Studying at St. Andrews College, Cambridge, it's not that you are only studying at a college in the UK. You benefit from a lot of potential resources from Cambridge University. Um, St. Andrews is a very, very family style school. We have on average only four students per class. So uh, every student has a personal Tutor. The tutor will meet them every week to help to monitor their academic progress. So uh, every student is highly valued at St. Andrews. You are very important. And um, we make sure that every student has all the support they need to have a very happy experience in Cambridge and to progress to the top university. Uh, like I've presented uh, here, uh, we offer four different courses. We have pre-A level course and a GCSE course and we have A-level course and uh, university foundation courses. Currently, we have spaces for this September intake. So if you are interested in coming this September, for our A-level course, um, we, uh, our A star to A rate is 74%. And our A star to B rate is 91%, it, which is very, very impressive result. And last year, 41% of our A-level students, they progressed to a top five UK university. So if you arrive in St. Andrews and you have a, um, a very good result, it's very likely for you to progress to your dream university. And we offer a very wide variety of subjects. Like we even, um, I only presented the common subjects here. We even offer geography, philosophy, Latin, computing science. So some of our students, they have any of the specific needs to study a specific subject. We always try to accommodate that and to make sure that we arrange that for our students. And um, for our, and also we have foundation program. Uh, we have September and January intake, the same as A level. If you are considering joining St. Andrews perhaps later next year, January intake would also be um, acceptable. So for foundation courses, 87% of our foundation students, they progress to a top 20 UK university. So um, here I have a list of all the universities that would take our foundation students. So um, we have had plenty of foundation students who received three or four offers, even five from top university. So uh, I always talk with our students, um, like this is a student from Thailand, from um, Chiang Mai. I talk with her, I said, um, why would you choose St. Andrews Foundation? Because um, why didn't you choose just any other university foundation? She said, um, because I know I can't go to Cambridge University through a foundation course, but I don't want to spend two years to study A level because I'm already 18. So uh, I think studying at St. Andrews, I can still go to Cambridge University to attend the public lectures. And I know there are only four, five, six students per class. I have that individual attention and support and I have a tutor. And also I have done my research. Like if I study foundation and St. Andrews, if I have like a, a homework from my economics teacher asking me to write a piece of write, uh, 
just ask me to write like an essay. If I'm studying at university, I will only be giving a deadline. But if I study at St. Andrews, my teacher, my tutor will be teaching me what is Harvard reference letter, how to write a proper essay. I prefer to have that individual support and attention to lay a very solid uh, foundation before I progress to university. And also the student from Chiang Mai, she said, um, I, I did my research, St. Andrews offers like 20% or even 30% more lessons compared with university. So I think my, my money is, is quite, um, it's quite good value. And also uh, for, for her, like um, she thinks that um, she didn't want to tie her to a specific university. That's the main reason because she said, um, I've only been to UK once and, um, and um, I, I don't know which specific university I want, I, I want to go. I don't want to tie myself to that, um, that only one university. What if I change my mind after I have, I have, I have arrived in UK? But by studying at St. Andrews, our foundation course, you arrive in September, and then you have very small size of class, you have all the tutor attention, and then we organize the university fair in October. So you have the chance to speak with teachers, admission staff from all different kinds of universities. And then in November, we organize you to visit different universities. So some of the universities you might be interested in going, like Edinburgh, Glasgow, if you think they are slightly far away, you can always go there with your friends during the weekend. And then you apply in December, January with the full support of your personal tutor. And then you apply for five universities. So it's your choice which university you want to go. It's not that the university choice that you can only progress to that specific university. I know some That's, of our time. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I was just saying, no, I was just, I was just going to back you up there, Vicky. That's really, really important because as Vicky was saying quite rightly, you know, you won't know at this point absolutely which university you want to go to because when you start looking at all the courses, they're really, really in depth. So say you wanted to study something like business studies at university. Well, there's probably about 36 different universities that offer business studies of different things. But you might, as you're starting to do your economics, decide you want to do business studies with an economics module. They're very, very different. And the brilliant thing about the St. Andrew's staff and your personal tutor is that they can guide you individually. And that's the different thing. So you'll have your own career path. And that's the difference about doing it within something like the St. Andrews environment, rather than going to a tied university. So it does make a huge amount of difference. And as Vicky said quite rightly, your university application doesn't have to be in until the 15th of January. So you've got the whole of the first term to work individually with your tutor. You'll meet every week. You'll talk individually about what you want, what you're enjoying, which subjects you're doing well in, what you think you might like to explore what your career plans are in the future. And as she said quite rightly, the other thing that's really important for university, and I've seen this this year with looking at students who've been very isolated at university due to COVID-19, you need to have those skills in place. So that really means critical thinking. You know, how do you think critically? How do you, how do you research stuff? How do you reference essays, for instance? You know, do you have the living skills? You know, what's it like if you suddenly got to come to the UK? It's different diet, different culture, different climate. You know, how do you actually kind of learn about living, you know, how do you get around the UK, you know, what's the best way of doing it? All those things you can explore with the help of lots and lots and lots of support of other students, other teachers. And that I think is really, really important for Thai students where sometimes, you know, you've been in situations where, you know, you haven't had to kind of, you know, explore and travel a lot on your own. Um, so I would really, really recommend this as a fantastic route, definitely. Sorry, Vicky, I just wanted to kind oh, of interject there. No worries. Brilliant. <laughs> So, um, so like we actually had Thai students like whose level was um, not very good, like uh, about English level five, 5.5, but they are very, very ambitious. They were like, I want to go to St. Andrews to study foundation because I know that um, St. Andrews will give me that support. If I'm left behind, my tutor will arrange extra tutorial sessions for me during the weekend or even just outside our term dates, we always support our students. So for our students, like um, they prefer to have that support and then they, even if their results were not at outstanding by the time when they arrive, but with that support, they always progress very, very good to a very good university. They benefit from that teaching and they can also progress to like Kent College, Edinburgh, Manchester, such universities. So even if your level is not very good and the moment 
moment, don't be afraid. With St. Andrew's individual attention and support, it's still very likely for you to go to the top UK university because you can apply for five different university choices. So um, as we mentioned, we are located in the center of Cambridge. We have very small size of class and individual attention. Every student will have a dedicated personal tutor who will, who will meet every week and we carefully monitor students' progress. And um, we have scholarship and, um, and also um, for our A-level program, for the top students, we have a program, it's called Extension Program. So uh, if you are a very good student, we not only offer you scholarship, but um, you will have a personal tutor from Cambridge University, who is normally a second or third year bachelor student who is studying the major you wish to apply in the future. So thinking if you're a Thai student, perhaps studying in a local school or international school at the moment, you are thinking of going to Cambridge or Imperial College or Oxford in the future for your bachelor degree. Perhaps you want to study computer science. So um, going to St. Andrews would perhaps be a better choice than staying in a Thai school because you will be studying in the center of Cambridge. Some of your teachers, they might be retired professors or lecturers or they finished their PhD studies in Cambridge University. You can go to computer science faculty to attend that um, public lectures. You have only four or five students per class and you have teachers who have like above 20, 30 years of teaching experience. But you might be thinking, oh, it's quite expensive to go to Cambridge to study. But if you are a very good student, like English level 6.5, 7, 7.5, even 8, and you have very good GPA, we can offer you 20%, 35%, or even 50% scholarship, depending on your level. So it will be much affordable for you to study in Cambridge. And also besides that, we need to make sure that you can progress to your dream university to study computer science. We will give you an extra tutor from Cambridge University. So that tutor is normally a second or third year bachelor student because that person, your tutor, just went through the whole application procedure that you are about to go through in the next one or two years. So uh, that your tutor stood out among thousands of applicants. So your tutor's job is to make sure you stand out. So, you know, go to Cambridge, you, 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 you need more than three A or four A, uh, A level results. You need to take special training for the entrance exam. You need to have professional like interview training. You need to have skills like practical experience and we make sure you will have all the support. So um, it's a very good choice for the top A-level students and even for the students who don't have that good results initially, but with our carefully monitored um, like um, support and you can still progress to a very good university. And uh, we are a boarding school. We do have uh, local students who are day students, but for our international students, they normally stay at our whole residence. We have single room and two room. Most of the room are on suite, so it's a very, very good standard. And uh, we, we, we actually have clients of Thai students who told us that I'm quite worried about food. Like I heard that British food is not, doesn't have a very good reputation. What if I'm hungry? I want to eat rice. I don't want to eat bread every day. That's not an issue with us. Our house manager, they can even cook like a pai thai. They can cook tong yin soup. So uh, don't worry about it. Um, our students never were never complained about food, but just all you need to be careful is not to gain too much weight. <laughs> So uh, Cambridge, it's pretty. It's it's very it's very it's very um, um easy to travel to London. It's only about forty five minutes by train, and and it goes to Kings Cross um station in the central London. So um um you you will have full access in Cambridge. Like after your lessons, if you are tired, you can go to Cambridge River to take a walk. If you if if during the weekend you want to um, go to the library, you can go to the library to study and you can still travel outside of Cambridge. Just, just let your school know, let us know that on um, your travel plan and who you will be going to. So you have that flexibility and we have very small size of class and uh, you have a very dedicated personal tutor and we monitor your progress carefully. And um, we have scholarship. 
So uh, we have 20%, 35%, 50%. We have a very limited space for 50 and 75% scholarship. You need to take mass test, scholarship test and interview. And, um, but we do have some old standing Thai students. Uh, last year, we offered a 50% scholarship to a Thai boy. Like, he's fantastic. And uh, he's now aiming to go to LIC to study economics. And um, we, uh, we help you with UCAS application. So uh, basically just some students, they ask us like, how should I apply for university? I don't know how to write a proper personal statement. So we make sure that you have support by the time when you arrive at St. Andrews and by the time you go to university. Many of our students, even if they are progress to university, they would still come back to visit us. So, uh, and, and we are always here to help. We are a very family style school. So um, for our top A-level students, we not only offer a scholarship and we give them an extra tutor from Cambridge University, we organize them to visit the top universities. Uh, this is, a, this is the, a trip we organize for our A-level students to attend the Oxford um, pub Open Day. And also for our top um, A-level students, especially the students who are interested in studying medicine, because I know medicine um, course is quite popular in Thailand. So um, remember, you need to study A-level if you want to progress into a medicine degree. So we actually organize different kinds of um, seminars for our students. Uh, this is a uh, Professor Patrick Maxwell, he is a head of the medicine department of Cambridge University. He actually visited our school to give speeches to our uh, students who were studying A-level medicine. And um, this is Jeremy, uh, he's from Kuala Lumpur. So uh, he actually, he was studying medicine with us and uh, he got an internship at Cambridge University Hospital during the summer vacation uh, of his first year A-level. And we also organized surg surgery in school. It's organized by Cambridge University Surgical Society and the Royal College of Surgeons of England. And also our students, they join the uh, Cambridge University as a festival of ideas. They will be able to meet professors not only from Cambridge, Oxford, but also from Harvard, MIT, Stanford. So imagine you could have all that resource if you study at St. Andrews. The other thing I think that's probably worth talking to about that point, particularly yes. with a view to medicine, is that St. Andrews is part of Duke's education, which is a very big in, in, uh, educational group in the UK. And part of um, uh, Duke's education is our consultancy arm and our medical consultancy arm. So, um, and we also kind of own the medic portal. So all of our students, for instance, also have the support, which is in terms of workshops and seminars from Duke's applications, medical um, staff. So it just means that again, we're trying to give you that edge, if you like, to getting into something like medicine so that you've got extra support, extra coaching. We even have a medical conference, for instance. So all of that will really, really help boost your personal statement to get you into one of those very highly competitive courses like medicine, which is which is really important. Sorry, Vicky. And no worries. Thank you. And so uh, St. Andrews, like, like Harry Anta mentioned, I think St. Andrews students and all the colleges from the Dukes, we are very lucky, our students, they can access the resource from the medic portal. As a matter of fact, we just received an email from the medic portal last night. They, they are going to organize an online webinar to uh, include all the top surgeons and doctors. And um, they invited all St. Andrews students and it's for free. So uh, imagining that you can benefit from all that potential resource. It's, so it's, it's very, our students are very, very lucky. And we have very high quality residential accommodation. Like I've mentioned, we have mainly single room and twin rooms. So most of the rooms, they have an independent bathroom and a shower inside of the room. There will be a house manager living together with you to cook for you, do your, just help you to do the laundry. And the, your house manager will wake you up in the morning, will make sure you go to sleep on time. And if you have like a sports event, perhaps on Wednesday, you said, okay, I, I, I have to play football today and I need to come back home a little bit late. Your house manager knows your schedule and will be like, okay, no problem. I'll cook the food slightly later for you. So when you come back home slightly later than the other students, your meal is will still be hot and everything will be prepared for you. And so, um, 
So basically, you don't need to worry about your Wi-Fi renting and any bills. It's all covered. You, you normally you just need to notify your arrival date, and we will arrange airport transfer, and we will just、um, take you from the airport to your residence directly. And、um, we have a very excellent pastoral care、uh, team. So no matter what kind of support you are looking for, we always have the team here to support you.、And、we have some students who ask about like, what if I'm sick? Will anyone be looking after me? Like no matter if you have any kind of symptoms, like we will be. Taking you to visit your GP, or we will be just monitoring to you to take your medicine. So anything, we'll be here to help.、Um, our students, especially、um, from Thai Thailand, sometimes they ask about like,、um, I, I need to have a UK SIM card. I need to have like a UK a UK bank account. It, it seems to be so overwhelming. So many things for me to do. Don't worry. Like I mentioned, you just need to inform your as your arrival date, and we will pick you up from the airport. We will be helping you. To、um, have bank lighter to apply for a bank UK bank account and to sort out your、uh, same cards. We have plenty of same cards in office, <laughs> and、um, we also have fantastic results. Like I mentioned, our A star to A rate is seventy four percent, so which is a very good result. And、um, plenty of our students they progress to a top five UK university, and、um, so.、Um, So basically, you will have that support, and you will、um, basically it's a guarantee that you can go to a very top university if you study very hard. And for our foundation students,、um, like uh, for for so, like for Jasmine,、uh, like、um, the the student in in the in、uh, in, the, in my screen. I'm sharing. Like、uh, she is said, she went to Sheffield, but actually she received five offers. She is, she received offer from、um, King's College, and also Edinburgh. And also Sheffield, and also Nottingham, and Manchester, and eventually she chose to go to Sheffield. So it's not like you can only go to one university. You receive multiple offers, and then you pick one university you want to go. So、uh, Jeremy, like、um, he studied a level with us, and then he progressed to University of Leicester to study medicine. He actually received many other offers from other medicine schools, but、uh, eventually he chose Leicester because Leicester gave him a very good scholarship. So.、Uh, Like、um, the student who studied, like、um, like this student, he really wanted to go to Saint Andrews, like university, to study mathematics. It's a very competitive major, but he thought,、mm, I want to go to Saint Andrews to study math as well. Initially, he asked us. Uh, what's the connection between Saint Andrews College and Saint Andrews University? I, I'm sure, like some students of you, you might be wondering that as well. So,、um, Saint Andrews is、um, is a college. We work very closely with Saint Andrews University, but Saint Andrews University in, is in Scotland, and we are in the center of、uh, Cambridge. So we share the same name, but、um, we do have close、uh, connections. And many of our students they could progress to Saint Andrews to study、um, bachelor degree. We do have foundation students who progress to Saint Andrews to study、uh, psychology and also、uh, education、um, in the past. So、uh, if you are quite ambitious and、um, you don't have enough time or budget to study for two-year A level, it's also likely for you to progress to Saint Andrews University through our foundation course. St and, Andrews、um, is actually the patron saint of Scotland, so、um, yes. so the reason why they're called St Andrews is because、um, we have we have different kind of patron saints from the folklore, and St Andrews is actually the patron saint of Scotland, which is the reason why the link is also there. But、um, St Andrews is actually the third、um, top university in the UK at the moment, if you look at the complete universities guide.、Um, and as Vicky was saying, you know, getting a place at St Andrews University is very competitive, and the fact we're getting you know students into that just shows how good the teaching and how good the monitoring. And the advice really, really is. Sorry, Vicky. Yeah, thank you. So,、uh, <laughs> so like Carolina, like、uh, she studied our A level and she progressed to、uh, Imperial College to study、uh, theoretical physics. So she's very, very happy with her studying experience. So she's always ha happy to share her study experience with any of our、uh, future students. And、uh, Hannah, she's from Ho Chi Minh City. 
she, she started our economics foundation. She only finished year 11. So you don't need to finish high school to study our foundation course. As long as you finish year 11, it is okay. No matter if you are currently studying in an international school or in a local uh, Thai school. So for Hannah, she joined our foundation course she actually received an offer from LSE through our foundation course. When she applied for university through UCAS, she thought, should I try to apply for LSE? And then she thought, yeah, why not? Because I have five choices. And LSE eventually invited her for an interview. She actually received an offer from LSE, but eventually she went to King's College London because it gave her a very good scholarship. And uh, she actually joins our fairs in Vietnam, helping to share her experience with students. So basically all of our students, yeah, very happy. And um, yeah, this is uh, Ben from UK. And uh, he also um, finished his A-level course with us last year. Uh, he progressed to Imperial College to study uh, physics with theoretical physics. So he said, I really appreciated the mathematics department and the excellent teachers who taught me the syllabus outside of the books to extend my knowledge for preparation and university. So we are obliged not only to teach our students the syllabus from um, a level, we also train their critical thinking skills. We try to encourage them to think outside of the books. And also for, um, for our students, Jason, uh, who went to economics, who went to Universal Essex to study economics, he said, I wouldn't have gotten this result without the uh, help of uh, the support from my teacher, especially my personal tutor and the psycholo psychology teacher, Mrs. Smith. She was there for me from the day one and believed in me, even when I didn't believe in my own ability. I know Jason really well because um, he, he was a very shy student. His English level was only around 5.5 when he joined our uh, course. But, um, but, his, but his teacher, his, uh, his tutor, and everyone in school, we believed in him. And we kept um, encouraging him, offering him that support because he was a little bit struggling with his English. So we offered him an extra six hours English lessons per week since he joined St. Andrews. And eventually uh, he progressed to study economics. And um, yeah, this is a photo of a uh, beautiful Cambridge. So uh, it's only about 10 to 15 minutes walking distance from our school. Imagining that you can sit on, alongside the river, you can read a book, you can talk with other Cambridge University students and professors by studying at St. Andrews. And also this is a landmark of King's College and this is our beautiful school. So uh, we have two school, we have two teaching sites. One is in region site, one is in Station Road. They are all very basically in the center of Cambridge. Actually Station Road is just on the upper side of our Cambridge um, Botanic Garden, Cambridge University Botanic Garden. So um, just our students, they always take a walk in the Botanic Garden after license. And uh, this is um, a picture we, we took like um, of our graduation party. So we have graduation party. All the students have to dress up and attend this uh, graduation party. This is our May ball. So we organize our students to, um, to, to have to experience like traditional British culture. And uh, this, is, this is a photo of our residents, as you can see. It's, it's very personalized. You have your own coterie and um, your house manager will cook the food based on your preference. And you have a common room and you can just um, study together with, your, with other peers from this um, residence. So you have a very personalized um, experience. And this is a turn room. So, um, so you will have your own study desk, will have your own wardrobe. So it's very comfortable. And this is a single room. You have your own independent bathroom and a shower inside of the room. And food is never a problem. So, uh, <laughs> so um, no matter which kind of the food you are interested in having, just have a simple conversation with your house manager. Your house manager will always try to uh, to make sure you will have that. And um, this is some of our um, activities. So uh, this is an activity um, of model. The left one is our students joining the model UN conference. So um, they, they join this event together with students from all different kinds of schools. They discuss international affairs and propose any professional like um, thoughts to, uh, to, to any of the problems. 
So, uh, and also the right one is our student um, football team playing against Cambridge University students. We actually won because we have some fantastic football players from like Mexico, from like Spain. We actually beat Cambridge University team. So we had this um, uh, photo together. So um, we have about 10 different sports events every week. So you can just no matter if you are interested in playing basketball, football or tennis or swimming, we will always arrange that for you. And our teacher, Andy Hilton, the person who's standing next to the team, he will also be um, supervising you, be accompanying you to make sure that um, you won't feel like alone just and also the left one is we organize our students to visit the Warwick Castle. So they are quite happy. And, uh, and also the right one is our students representing the college and um, the UN conference. So um, we said they had a very good day that day. And um, it's, it's a happy education. So, um, so, uh, so basically all the students, they are very happy. So uh, um, I, I, I took four photos here because the, the left one, I want to present that uh, we have professional facilities for our students, especially for the students who study art and media and architecture and even music. So we have music subjects. So we have the facility provided for our students and also, um, we have professional science labs, which only have like four or five students each class. So uh, you learn, you, you, you have access to, uh, to all the, uh, to all the uh, experimental uh, facilities. And also uh, like on um, the last, the, the photo on the, on the right side is to our students. They were uh, doing like an art um, portfolio. So they were just doing that after lessons and their teacher um, is still there just trying to give them some help. And um, yeah, basically our students, they are very happy. And, um, and um, we have also very enriched nationality. So we have students from like UK, from like, this is from China and Japan. And also we have students from Ukraine, her she's from Ukraine. And so, and so we have a very rich nationality. You, you can not only benefit from the British culture, but you still have the opportunity to, uh, to meet students from all over the world. So it's a fantastic experience. And, um, and St. Andrews College, Cambridge, we still have space in September and we look forward to have more students from Thailand and we, our students uh, can't wait to learn more about the beautiful Thai culture. <laughs> So, um, Absolutely. No, that's, 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 that, that's perfect. And um, as Vicky said, um, her details will put in, if you put your details into the chat, Vicky, maybe for everybody yes. so that they can, yes. they can grab them. I also just wanted to introduce, while we're just sitting here, my colleague on my right, it's on my right on my screen anyway, is my colleague, Tony Blignord, who's yes. actually based in Bangkok. And Tony, again, maybe Tony, you could put your details into the chat. Yes. And Tony will be very, very happy, you know, if it, it, particularly kind of during lockdown where it's more difficult to meet with you and your parents again and, you know, and help, you know, if, if, if you'd like to meet with him in person in Bangkok, he's right here. So, you know, it, it's really, really easy for you to do that, which is absolutely fine. So I think that will be really, really helpful. Um, Vicky, I think probably what might be a little bit helpful would be um, for you to tell a little bit about um, the admissions process for people so yes. they understand what to do. So, so I think there's probably one thing I do need to say, which, um, which is people, for people who are considering coming in September. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we have been having students at our, all of our colleges actually right the way through the pandemic. And mm -hmm. we've had no outbreaks whatsoever. We've picked our students up from the airport. We've taken them to the yes. colleges. We've tested everybody on arrival. We've temperature checked people every day. We've done different routes around the college. We've had masks and social distancing. We are now really, really good at that. Mm -hmm. But the situation in the UK has improved hugely. And that is through the vaccination process. So by July, every single member of the adult population in the UK will be vaccinated. I've already been vaccinated, to give you an example, because I'm of the age range now, which means that I've been vaccinated. And so what that means is the UK is actually likely to be one of the safest places that you can come to in the world, funny enough, from September. So we will make sure that you're all absolutely OK. We will go through any necessary quarantines. There are flights 
coming in and out of Bangkok, for instance, to London Heathrow. Um, you know, so it, it is happening already. We already have green countries, for instance, at the moment where we don't even have to have quarantine with. But at the moment, Thailand is on what's called the yellow list or the amber list, which means at the And while you're doing that, we will teach you online and we will absolutely look after you just through that first bit of induction and getting getting to know what's going on. So please don't worry about coming to the UK at all, actually, in September. We've already been doing it with all of our colleges. We've been teaching people completely right the way through. And it stops you being so isolated. Because one of the things that's been really awful about the pandemic has been the isolation for people that you've been stuck in your rooms, learning online, no social interaction. It's all, the, all through kind of social media. And I know actually having personally got teenagers at, at the same age, how very difficult that has been. Whereas what we can do is we can... We results around, but also that you've got friends and that they will physically be with you and you can study together and look after each other. I think that's really, really important. We will be open completely, absolutely completely in September. In fact, we're open completely now and we have been since the middle of February. And when we haven't been open, we've kept our students with us in the UK and we've taught them online. So please, I know it's very difficult and Thailand is in a slightly different position to the UK, but interestingly, actually the UK is very, very safe now. Sorry, Vicky, you're talking yes, about the admissions thank process. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Just, sorry, Vicky, so, just before you go, I just want to also say thanks, Amy. Uh, in, in Thailand, we have about 15 Thai students which, which are in Cardiff, and then we have about 10 students which are in uh, our sister school, Rochester, with the, with the um, scholarship scheme. And then we have a group, we have a Thai moms um, group with LINE, as you know, which is our WhatsApp here in Thailand. And I communicate with these moms on, on a daily basis. So the Thai, the Thai community is, is great. And it would be lovely to talk to anybody who's, who's really um, keen to chat. Thanks, Vicky. OK, so um, thank you, Tony. So for students to apply for St. Andrews College, Cambridge, so and for this September, there is no application fee. So if you are not sure, should I try to apply? I would always recommend the students to try it and at least apply because it's a good opportunity for you to get to know your current level. And if you have very good results, you perhaps will have a very big scholarship. So uh, what you need to do is you need to send over your other registration form. You need to send over your transcript and your passport copy. If you don't have a valid passport at this moment, you can submit that later and any other supporting documents like your personal statement or any kind of academic awards, any other supporting documents. And then we will arrange you to do a math test, which is one hour and a scholarship test. If you have applied for the scholarship, which is one and a half hour, and we will arrange you to do an English test, which is three hour, it's online. It will be done via Zoom. So um, after you have done all the tests, we should be able to issue the offer letter within three to five working days. And then in your offer letter, you have very, very clear confirmation um, and information that um, how much is your tuition and how much is the total cost and if you've had the scholarship how much scholarship have you received so uh, and then it is your choice uh, to decide if you want to come or not if you want to come you just need to pay for two thousand pound deposit to confirm your space and we will be helping you with visa application and to arrange your transfer accommodation and um and then you can pay after you receive your visa you need to pay for the rest of the fees um, um like in July or August. So for the for the for our tuition fee, because I know some uh, families they might be budget sensitive and they don't want to pay all the fees altogether. So we also offer the options for the students to pay by term. So um you can divide the fees into three times if that makes everything slightly easier. So um I think I'll hand it over to um, Deepka and Jeff from ISA UK. Um, they will be talking to you about how they will be supporting you with the application. And um, Tony, my colleague, he's based in UK. He's fantastic. He has a very strong links with Thai community. And uh, also I've shared also my contact details just for anything. You have any problems, just contact me or Tony and we will be more than happy to help you. 
Tony's actually in Bangkok. He's not in the UK. Just to oh, say, sorry. I'm in the UK, but Tony's actually in Bangkok. <laughs> Lovely. Thank sorry, you. Yes, it'll be helpful because you can do you can do your exams here in Thailand. So it makes life you know, yes. much, much easier. And you can do it with SI UK. So, um, Dapika, do you want to kind of come and join us now and talk about how you would be helping support? I'm just checking if she's there. Hello. Yes, she is. Hi, uh, I will, no, yeah. uh, Nikki will explain this more, like how the Thai team will support students. Hello, Nikki. Hello. Yes, uh, can you please tell all the students how Thai team will be supporting students? Okay, in I'll just sweep in Thai language, okay? เอ่อน้องๆค่ะเอ่อถ้าเกิดว่าน้องๆส่วนไหนนะคะสนใจเอ่อที่จะเข้าเรียนของเซนต์แอนดรูว์คอลเลจแคมบริดจ์นะคะ
So uh, you can, our students, they normally would progress to University of Arts London, and they can still uh, pro pro progress to like Southampton, Edinburgh, like any of other universities, and also Kensington, Goldsmiths. So you have all that choices, and they can still apply for five different university choices if they come in January. And I would just going on from that, I, I going on from what Vicky was saying, I, if you can, I would very much recommend that you do an art foundation, particularly from September, because yes. if you just think the amount of time it, it create it takes to create a piece of artwork um, of a really good standard. And then also, you know, with the teachers to improve it, to look at it and then also to document it within a portfolio. Just that, that's why Vicky said quite rightly, you'll need to come with a portfolio in January. It just takes time. So. I would really, really recommend for those who can and are able to that you come for the Art Foundation in September. Thank you. Very yeah. Much. yeah, I do agree. Um, so because for the autumn term, you have about four months to prepare for your art portfolio to lay a very solid foundation for your academic results. I understand that some, that some students, they might be thinking, I, I'm not <laughs> quite sure about the whole situation in the UK this September. I prefer to come next January. If you, we completely understand that students have that concern and you can try to join our online course first from the September intake. You can spend the whole autumn term and study online and then you can come back in Cambridge in January. In that case, you will still be considered as a September intake student and you have the form months to uh, study very interactively with your teachers and for our online lessons we have on average like three or four students per class you have the same teaching hours with the same as our college students so if we, we would definitely recommend students to come back to Cambridge but if you really can't travel it's you can still study our online course and uh, you can switch between the online course and college teaching with full flexibility. Thank you. Is there any other questions to pick yeah. at all? Yeah, yeah. So um, the next question is, uh, can students work during study in the UK? Um, generally, no. No. Um, so generally, you, they, they can't work at the same time um, because uh, they're on a child student visa generally and, it, and it's not permitted. Okay. And uh, so what about, do they get a stay back after this program? Do they get a what, sorry? Stay back after this program. That, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know what a stay back is. It's, it's, it's like, can, can, can they stay after the finished program in like, the UK? Uh, they are asking about the post-study work visa. Will they be getting the post-study work uh, Yes, 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 no, absolutely. So, 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 so that doesn't come after a foundation program. That comes after their university degree. Oh, okay. So, they, so, so this is pre-university basically, the courses that we've been talking about. So you do your pre-university course to get you into a good university. Your post-study work visa is a two-year program, which, has, which actually happens when you finish your university course. And yes, you can stay for two years then to work. Okay. So we talk about um, our quarantine. Like if, if the students are required to quarantine for 14 days, quarantine upon a while, will the college, college, college help us? And how Absolutely. Can we exit, yeah, and how we can access our um, lesson. Yeah, well, absolutely. So, 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 of course, we'll help you. That's exactly what we've been doing. Now, I think at the moment, the quarantine from Amber countries is 10 days. Okay. And so, and you have two kinds of tests at different points. I think it's in day three and day eight. So, mm -hmm. um, so basically, um, yes, no, absolutely, you'll come and quarantine within the boarding house, a bit like you would in your own home, okay. for instance, <laughs> basically. And we will feed you and look after you. And then what we'll do is we'll run integration events and we'll run online teaching for you while mm -hmm. you're actually in the boarding house before we can then get you get you yeah. kind of in. <laughs> and we we all, all all kind of don't know whether that's going to go down at all. Um, you know, before it comes to it, it's likely to. I mean, yeah. the situation in the UK is actually incredibly promising. So. Um, you know, fingers crossed, we're going completely back to normal next week, um, you know, with everything opening, including theatres and bars and be able to do things inside. So it's looking very, very positive. Um, and the statistics are showing, you know, it, it's dropping like mad in the UK. It, it's a very different place than it was six months ago. Okay. Okay. Our next question. I think the last question from the student from uh, the Zoom. Uh, he asked uh, if he doesn't have uh, portfolio, can he allow to study foundation digital art? Um, 
if he I, I, if he doesn't have a very thorough portfolio, I would still recommend him to come for September intake because okay. we still have space for the September intake. And like I mentioned, he will receive a very, very like um like a thorough support from his personal tutor. And we have enough time to build up a very good um quality portfolio for him. So um I see no I see no reason why he couldn't join our September intake. So uh, I would recommend him to come in September if uh, that's the case. Okay, thank you so much. I think it's, that's all the question <laughs> we have today. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you very much, everyone. And please do, if you want a registration form, please do get in touch with SIUK or with the address that Vicky put down. Um, and if you would like to meet Tony, um, you know, and definitely, and, and, and him to kind of come and meet your, your, your parents and to talk that through as well from a financial situation, that's his, his address, I think, he's put there in, into the chat as well. And do have a look at the website. All the fees, all the costs are on there for you. Um, so it, it's very helpful. And that's www.standrewscambridge.co.uk, I believe. Yes, I just tap in the website in the box, everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> lovely. Thank you. Really lovely to meet everybody. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.